Welcome to Sony Trends and Tips. Bob and I are here as your guides to the exciting world of new technology for consumers and for business. Today the topic is camcorders and Bob, what's on tap? You know, Joan, I just got a new camcorder with all the special features and I made up my mind that with this new Sony, I'm going to start taking some great videos. I mean, I have all this new technology at my fingertips and I want to take advantage of it. So uh, how about giving me some pointers? Okay, well that's exactly what we have planned for today, Bob, because you're not alone. Many camcorder owners would like to shoot better videos, but they run into one or more of these five basic problems. Moving the camera too often, holding the camera on a crooked angle, panning or zooming too quickly, long static scenes where not enough is happening, and not identifying scenes adequately so you can identify them in the future. So um, how do we solve these problems? Well, let's take them one by one and see. Okay. Okay, this is one of the most common video shooting problems. Too much camera movement. Hmm. Well, it seems to me they're just, uh, they're trying to get everyone in the shot. Okay, well then, to do that, just step back a little and hold the camera still. Okay. Rule number one, hold the camera still. Next, there's the tilted camera syndrome. Now, this one's easy to correct. Before you start recording, check carefully through your viewfinder. Then when you know you've got a level framing, start recording. Another sure way to keep the camera level is to use a tripod. And we'll cover that in a few minutes when we talk about useful accessories available for use with Sony camcorders. Joan, a lot of home videos I see seem to have too much zooming and panning, like this guy who's all over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looks too busy, doesn't it? Exactly. Okay, well this is a situation where less is more. You know, just an occasional pan, maybe every seven or eight takes, is really the way professionals shoot. And for both pans and zooms, slow and steady is the way to go. You know, no fast or jerky moves. For example, this zoom into a close-up is a perfect example of controlled zooming. And notice the scene ends on the close-up. It's best not to zoom in or out or vice versa. Okay. Now, for panning, sometimes you simply want to change the view from here to here. Okay, well then don't pan. Frame this scene and shoot it five seconds. Then stop, frame the next scene, and record. Hold the scene for only five seconds. That seems pretty quick. Well, unless there's some specific ongoing action you want, five seconds per scene is a reliable rule of thumb for good results. For example, this camcorder has a five second recording function which automatically stops the camera after five seconds. Recording this way helps you produce a fast-paced series of scenes that are fun to watch. Which brings up a good point. I've sat through some home videos that seem to go on forever. What's a good length for a video? Actually, Bob, five to ten minutes is really about the maximum. After that, you're in danger of boring your audience. Always leave them wanting more, huh? Exactly. And as a final point, make sure you and your audience know what they're looking at. Identify your scenes right at the start with a landmark or a sign or by having someone talk right into the camera or even create your own sign boards. This is a fun way to recall where you've been. <laughs> like a good reporter. You tell them who, what, where, when, and why. Mm -hmm. Good advice. And now that I know what it takes to make great videos, I want to learn all about these great accessories. Well, Bob, having the right accessories for your video shoots can make them both more enjoyable and successful. Well then, what do I need first? Well, two things, Bob. First, since you may be using your camera out of doors quite often, you should have a tape cleaner cassette handy and run it in your camcorder once in a while to make the most out of the beautiful picture quality. Now, even more basic than a tape cleaner, never go off on a video shoot without a fully charged backup battery. The easiest way to spoil a potentially great video is to run out of battery power. Now, the Sony Handycam camcorder you just purchased features an indicator that tells you how much recording time you have left. But even with that feature, you should never go anywhere without a backup battery. And I see that Sony offers a selection of different batteries. Mm -hmm. These are all high-capacity infolithium batteries. Now, together with the Sony Stamina Handycam and its low-power consumption technology, this NPF 550 delivers up to four hours of recording time on a single charge. Now, this is the NPF 750 SP, which comes with a free bonus 8mm blank tape, and it records up to eight hours. This NPF 950 records up to 12 continuous hours from one charge, 
Also, NPF 750 SP and NPF 950 can maximize the recharging function of your Handycam, which is pretty neat. With, the, with these two optional batteries, your camcorder can charge up a full hour of recording time in just 15 minutes. So if you're in a hurry, you can get a quick charge. Hmm, eight hours, one free bonus blank tape, and quick charge. Seems to me that this is the one to go with. What if I had to use the camcorder and recharge the battery at the same time? That's when you need the optional battery charger. The AC V700 is recommended for use at home. The DC V700 is for use in your car and plugs right into your power outlet. And the main thing is to make sure you always have a charged backup battery with you. Now, tell me about this tripod. If you do a lot of taping, you should always have a tripod handy. Makes for steadier shots and smoother pans and zooms. This model, the VCT550RM, even features a hand grip that connects to your camcorder so you can control off on from here and even zoom in and out without ever touching the camera. That's handy. Now, what about long distance shots? How do I get that building that's 100 yards away to look like it's right under your nose? Well, it's just a matter of having the right accessories for your camera. For long shots like these, you need a telephoto lens. This Sony telephoto lens fits the most popular current models. I guess this comes in handy when you're shooting out of doors. Definitely. And so does a wide-angle lens, because it can give you some dramatic results. I mean, look what happens when you record this scene first with a regular lens, then with a wide-angle. Wow. The difference is spectacular. A wide-angle lens can produce interesting effects indoors as well. A wide-angle lens is definitely useful. So, now I've got three lenses. How do I know when to use each one? Well, that's directly related to the most important video recording rule of all. Plan ahead. Before you record a scene, try out the different lenses to see what the effects will be. It takes a little longer, but the results are worth the effort. And after you experiment a while, you'll learn what works and what doesn't. Right. Don't be afraid to experiment. Have a great time. Yeah. Okay, well, let's start with this optional infrared receiver. The IFT R10 for viewing recordings without connecting your camera to your VCR. Just connect the infrared unit to your TV or VCR and beam your camcorder directly at it from any distance up to 16 feet. This is a great accessory with any Sony camcorder that incorporates the laser link function. Well, what about this light? Well, it's an intelligent light, Bob. And if you purchase a handy camcorder with the accessory shoe, it makes a great difference when you're shooting in low light conditions. But why do they call it an intelligent light? because it only comes on when your camera is in the start position and then it shuts off when you stop recording. Also with this intelligent light, your range of night shot increases from 10 feet to 100 feet. Now, this looks like camera gear for seafarers. <laughs> it's Sony's Marine Pack underwater camcorder housing and video light for snorkeling or diving. And this is the accessory to bring along to capture dramatic underwater scenes safely and easily at depths all the way down to 246 feet. And, last but not least, we have this Sony Video Walkman. The Sony Video Walkman TV is a great recorder and player with a 4-inch color LCD screen. A great travel companion for playing your camcorder tapes when you're away from home. I watched a movie on one of these the last time I flew first class to the coast. You flew first class. Hey, I'm a big TV star. And now that you've been kind enough to help me, I'm about to become a big star in videography. Well, Bob, by following the suggestions we covered today and use of some of the really helpful Sony camcorder accessories, anyone can be a terrific videographer, even you. <laughs> Thanks for all the hints, Joan. Now, if you'd like to add some of these accessories to your Sony camcorder outfit, stop by a retail store near you. See you next time on Sony Trends and Tips. Welcome to Sony Trends and Tips, where you get the inside story on the many exciting new products that are reshaping our lives at home. And in business, Joan. In fact, today we're going to look at a new product from Sony that's going to be a big favorite with both business organizations and families. It's Sony's innovative new Digital Mavica Still Image Camera. The Digital Mavica creates JPEG images on a 3.5 inch floppy disk. So, when I pop it into my PC, 
Ta-da! <laughs> Good resolution, too. You can get up to 40 images at VGA resolution. And you can take hundreds of shots and store them for posterity without having to stuff them into bulky albums. <laughs> Even better, you've got the shot right now on the spot. And if you don't like it... Take another one! <laughs> this digital Mavica is definitely a great family camera. It's also a great business tool when you want to transmit photos in a hurry from one location to another. And the digital Mavica is the natural for desktop publishing, for newsletters, reports, and even spreadsheets. You can take photos of products, people, scenery, just about anything you want, and add it to your presentation. It's really good to have one on hand when you have to take last minute photos and add them in. The digital Mavica has all the features you'd expect to find in a Sony Handycam camcorder. A 10 times power zoom lens with a one inch macro for close-ups, auto focus, auto iris, auto white balance, a built-in flash, a self timer, and a rechargeable infolithium battery that can take up to 500 consecutive shots on a full charge. To help you select your best shots, you can review up to six at a time on the camera LCD screen or on your computer. Just choose the shots you want and zap the rest. Well, what about photo manipulating software, though? Is that a standard feature? Standard. The digital Mavica features Photo Studio software that lets you play with images or add text and change backgrounds. And, and when you're done, you can just save the images on a floppy and you have an archive. It's that easy. Can I use the digital Mavica if I have a Mac? Absolutely. In fact, it can be used with any computer that has a 3.5 inch disk drive and operates with Windows 3.1, Windows 95, Windows NT 4.0, or the Mac OS system 7.5 or later. That pretty much covers the field. So folks, if you're in the market for a digital camera, for business, or the family, or both, take a look at the Sony Digital Mavica. High resolution and VGA images on a full featured digital camera, all of the convenience of a floppy disk. Imagine that. If you'd like to learn more about the Sony Digital Mavica, log on to our website or visit your local Sony retailer. Well, that's Sony Trends and Tips for today. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. With the new Digital Mavica from Sony, you can take your photos on a normal floppy disk and see them on your computer. <laughs> Easy and instantaneous. <laughs> and you don't need additional connections or special software. What are you laughing at? The new digital Mavica. It's a Sony.